The KMT has deleted an inflammatory post on its English language Twitter account following a furious backlash. The tweet was directed at Singaporean activist and journalist Roy Nung, who praised President Tsai Ing-wen for building strong relationships with other democracies. The KMT account tweeted that Nung was an extreme white supremacist despite being a person of color. For the biggest opposition party in Taiwan to have these racist comments on its official account is not just damaging to the KMT's image, it's also damaging Taiwan's image. The DPP lawmaker was visibly irate, discussing a recent tweet posted to the KMT's official English language account, saying the post was a disgrace to Taiwan. It all started with a tweet by a Singaporean activist who said vaccine donations from Japan and the U.S. reflected Taiwan's strong relationships with other democracies. The KMT's English language account replied to the tweet, saying, The cognitive dissonance of being such an extreme white supremacist whilst being a POC must be extremely painful for you. Its tweet triggered a flurry of responses from foreign journalists. One asked if this racist attack was what the KMT stood for today. Another said that Taiwan deserves a credible opposition. When I saw it, I was actually rather amused. If they are sowing discord for the sake of politics to be pro-China, it's not meaningful for Taiwan. It may have been the case that someone in the team forgot to switch accounts. After that was discovered, we issued an apology to international media and to the persons involved. It's not the first time that someone affiliated with the KMT made controversial comments online. In May, former KMT foreign language consultant William Wayne Thompson referred to President Tsai as a virgin and a loyal dog to the West when discussing Tsai's John McCain Prize for Leadership in Public Service. On Friday, the KMT distanced itself from Thompson. The KMT does not endorse his remarks, and they do not reflect the party's position. That consultant in question left his post in March. We think that the content of these comments is quite problematic. We'd like to solemnly ask party chairman Chiang to come forward and apologize. Once again, the KMT's international division is embroiled in controversy, and the party's chairman is being asked for a response. Whether he can put out the fire remains to be seen.